yellow spinner. You know, they are splendid doing pen spinning. Some focus on power elements, others enjoy pulling off smooth combos or inventing new tricks, some are into making pen mods, editing collab videos, some just have a blast breaking records with the continuous tricks. I've already made a video about the most popular continuous tricks for setting records, also did one on simple tricks you can grind forever, but you probably didn't know about that. And today I will show you 5 tricks which were meant to be continuous from the very beginning, but they are so easy to do that nobody bothers setting records with them, maybe just a few bright minds. But man do they look awesome, especially to an unprepared audience. And since learning them is as easy as pie, these tricks are hot favorites among beginners. So the first two tricks are the golden standard in pen spinning. If you are a total noob and got nothing special to flex on just yet, learn how to pull off the next two tricks non-stop and everyone will think you are the bomb. So the double charge, the ultimate king of noobs. Dropping the pen is practically impossible. But from the outside it really looks like you are actually doing something really cool. You can do it in one slot. You can do it in another. Heck, you can even do it in all slots at once. Going forward, going backward, doing double charge in slots 2, 3, 3, 4 is like the ultimate workout for your pinky, making it less useless. Cause you know, we hardly put it to work in day to day life. So it's usually the laziest and the clumsiest. Then there comes the trick that is worshipped by every beginner out there. After mastering it, some folks just call it quits getting better, cause what's the point of progressing any further if you've already reached perfection, right? Ron, of course. The real fun of pen spinning kicks in after you've tackled the third level of tricks and the tornado is just a beginner move at level 2. But this trick makes your pen go nuts with just a flick of your wrist, like it's about to send your house to Oz. There is much less variety here, the most you can do is add a few extra stop spins on your index finger. You can also try to learn a fingerless variation of the trick, I'm about to make a tutorial for that as well as soon as I master it myself. Next on the list. We have a trick made specifically for non-stop action. And when it comes to combos, it is usually tossed in as a double at the very least. It has a trick. Not the easiest move in pen spinning, but it sure looks cool. And once you get the motion and can do 2-3 rotations, it is extremely easy to keep it up continuously. Spin your mod around your index finger, then use your thumb and the index finger to move it closer to the tip, and then spin it around again, and so on and so forth. The last trick will be the most underrated trick in pen spinning. But before we get to that, we gotta talk about the true infinite trick, and namely the infinity and its variations. I have a bunch of videos about this trick on my channel. Sure, there are tutorials for all the rest tricks I showed today, but infinity I think I covered it the most, so there is not really anything to throw in here. Just search penstock, infinity and check it out yourselves. Combos, variations, all kind of stuff. This is the base. Basic, bro. You gotta have it down. And the next trick isn't that famous. Spinners don't use it in combos as much, maybe because triangle pass was originally designed as a standalone infinite trick. Getting this one down will eat up the most of your time from the today's list, but once you've got it, it looks slick and feels satisfying. On my channel I broke down a combo with this trick. The video is titled something like triangle pass combo or something. In my opinion it is overlooked for no good reason. The combo which I came up with looked unusual and cool, and from there you can try out a bunch of different badass looking moves. Well, in the comments under this video, feel free to drop in tricks that you can keep on doing non-stop the ones that I forgot to include today. Till the next time.